Hey, what's up guys? This video is going to be about the camshaft control position sensors and the camshaft position sensor from this Volkswagen Hybrid. So on top of the engine we've got here the control sensors, one for the exhaust camshaft and one for the intake. And then we've got here the camshaft position sensor. So we're going to do some testing with the voltmeter. And this will slide out. Now we got access to all the sensors, so let's disconnect them. We've got this safety clip, just pull it up and then the connector should come out as well. Notice that this is a three wire sensor since it's a classical camshaft sensor. And then we've got here these with two wires. Next, I'm going to turn on the ignition and see what voltage values we're going to read on these two connectors. We've got 9.63 volts and on this one, 9.63 volts again. Now let's see if we can do a short bench test. This is going to measure the continuity. These are kind of deep connectors. Yeah, we've got full continuity. Okay. Full continuity, you can hear that. Now let's see the camshaft position sensor. This has to be either a 5 volts or a 12 volts. I'm holding the connector with this clip up. We've got 5 volts here. And this is again 5 volts. Now let's see between the middle one and the right one. We've got nothing. So this is a 5 volt camshaft position sensor. So let's remove the camshaft position sensor. You're going to need a T30. And we're going to do a simple test. Plug it in. Now we can read the signal. So we have to back probe the connector. And here we've got 5 volts. Now when I take this piece of metal and place it near the sensor, this voltage should drop to zero and it does. So basically that's how the computer is getting the signal of the position of this intake camshaft. So this is going to happen extremely fast as you can imagine when the engine is spinning. So this sensor is good. Let's place it back. Now I've got the ignition off. So let's remove one of these position control sensors again with a T30. So these are basically switches to control the valve timing. For example, if you want more power, this will basically divert some oil pressure and it will change the timing of the intake camshaft and it will allow it to keep the valves open for a little bit longer. Therefore, more air is going to enter inside the engine and therefore the engine can create more power by adding more fuel. That extra air, it's usually delivered by the turbocharger. These units will work together with the turbocharger in order to get from this engine the maximum power possible. If these will fail, then you probably get one of these trouble codes listed on the screen. Here is the part number if you need to change them. This is for the exhaust side. I think it's going to be the same number. Hard to read. Yeah, that's going to be the same number. This is the number from the camshaft position sensor. So yes, guys, that was a short one about these sensors. Take care and I will see you in the next video.